All right, Phaser fans. Here's a new uh, FZXR 600 fork swap. You get the tire, you get or not the tire, you get the rim, the brakes, the calipers, and the forks, and everything else FZXR fits on. Or excuse me, FZX. Uh, Speedo drive is also FZXR. Easy, easy swap. All you do, loosen that bolt, loosen these two bolts, take your uh, brake line off, take your speedo, or speedo cable off, and it just slides right off. Slide the new stuff in, bleed your brakes, hook up your speedo, and you're off. Shouldn't take you uh, an hour to do that. As you see, I've shortened everything up on this bike. Nice and thin. We got Waz's FZX700 radiator covers. Nice addition. I painted the top to match. I got my uh, inspection. This is that Virginia safety inspection right here. That's just a little bracket, little aluminum. I don't know if you can get a good look at how it fits under there. I just got it fitting right next to the uh, chain guard there. I took off the uh, the rear pegs, and that takes that whole stay off. So really you have nowhere to put your feet now, but I just I just rest them forward. Um, what else, I took off the rear grab handle. As you can see, I cut my seat down a little more. I think I said that in the last video. I'm looking at doing the, uh, the rear swing arm change so I can get, a, uh, get away from this damn 15 inch tire. And uh, get some better tires on there. I got the Metzler uh, Marathon in the back and the Laser Tech up front. We got a uh, Laser Tech 120 70 17 and on the back we got the uh, Metzler Marathon ME 880 150 80 15. Does pretty good. I like it. I got the uh, 40 tooth rear sprocket and I got the stock front does me some really good uh, highway RPMs um, but hey you know three minutes into this let's go ahead and start it up now this is straight cold bike in the morning let's see what we got here there you go no choke We'll throw a little choke on to lean it to uh, smooth it out. That's a half can that I cut in half and then packed with uh, steel wool. See how loud this is. That was uh, 
one or two blasts up to about 9,000. Not much though still. At any rate, thing kicks ass, runs like a bat out of hell. And uh, I love the hell out of it. Alrighty, that's it for now. We got uh, about five and a half minutes on here, so. All the phasers, you guys. There's Cliff's phaser. I'm gonna change the uh, radiator fluid. Put some uh, red line in it. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. They say it runs about 20 or 30 degrees hotter. Or cooler, I'm sorry, cooler, cooler. Here's what we're gonna run. We're gonna run some red line water wetter. And I'm gonna run about uh, as much as I can. I got two bottles of water wetter, 10 bucks a piece. I'm gonna run that in there with some uh, denatured water, ionized water, and uh, just a shade of uh, antifreeze. And that'll keep it from rusting inside. The water runs cooler. The water wetter runs even cooler than that. And uh, we'll see what I can get out of it. All right, guys, let me go post this.